Hi, my name is John Paul Raj and I'm on a mission to make the learning of math fun. And on this video, I'm going to show you the easiest way to draw a tangent using the TI Inspire CX2. So let's get started. When we have a question like this, where we need to find the gradient of the tangent to the curve x squared minus 3x at x is equal to 3 using the t-inspire, let's see how to do it. All right. So first, let's go uh, to the graph page. And uh, the first thing I always recommend is, you know, just hit escape and adjust the window settings as per the question. So in this case, we wanted uh, the x values between negative 2 and uh, five, I believe. Hit enter. Now we are clear. Now you've got the window settings right. So I'm going to hit tab to bring back the uh, the function entry. I'm going to enter it as required in the question x square minus 3x. Hit enter. And there we've got our graph. I'm just going to move the label uh, to some corner here. And now we want to draw the tangent at the point x is equal to three. So we are going to go to menu and under geometry, points and lines, there are three possibilities, point, point on, and point by coordinates. Each of them, you know, has got a unique role. We are going to choose point on. Literally means that it's a point on the curve. So rather than just going to x equals 3, we'll just go somewhere just for demonstration purposes. And I'm just going to click the point there, okay? So you can see that it shows you the coordinates of the point. Even after I hit escape, the point can be moved around. That's the difference between this feature and trace feature, okay? So once you've got the point on the curve, so now when I change the x coordinate to what I want, I want x is equal to 3. So I just change that and I hit enter and the point just jumps to where we want it to be. And using this point where it is now, we can go to menu, geometry, choose points and lines and choose our tangent option. That's number 8. And I go and make sure that I click. When I click that point, it should say point on. Okay. And it will draw the tangent at that point, 3 comma 0. Uh, just for the sake of... Uh, Demonstration purposes, we'll change the color of the tangent from black to, let's say, green. So that will just stand out a bit. And there we've got the tangent line. I'm just going to extend the tangent line. We've got the equation also in green color. The equation of the tangent line is y equals 3x minus 9 in the form y equals mx plus c. And we can see that the slope of the tangent is 3. So what we need in the question is the gradient of the tangent at x equals 3 is 3. Okay, so that's the answer for that. But the cool part of this technique is that the second part of the question says, find the gradient of the tangent at x equals negative 1. Watch what can be done. You've got the tangent there. And all that you can do is I just go click that x value, okay, on the point. point. Uh, there you go. And I just make it negative 1. Negative 1. Watch. I've got the tangent there. So just by changing the x value on the point on, I've got the new tangent with the new equation of the tangent and the gradient of the new tangent is negative 5. So in the same way, I can just, you know, just say, okay, I want the gradient at 2, you know, uh, gradient of the tangent at 2. Uh, and there you go. So at 2 comma negative 2, that's a new point. And there's got the new equation of the tangent. The slope of the tangent at that point is 1. So this is a really cool technique. Now, in some questions, you'll be required to find the coordinates of the point where this particular tangent will meet the curve again, when, where it will intersect the curve again. And in that case, you actually can't find the point of intersection using the traditional way. Let me just demonstrate. And for that reason, uh, let me just change this uh, function. Let's make it a cubic function. So we do have another point of intersection. And uh, shall we just bring this point somewhere here? All right, I'll just bring this point here. And let me just uh, pan this somewhere here so that we can see that if this line is extended, this tangent line, if when I extend the tangent line somewhere there, there is a point of intersection. Can you see that? Okay. The same tangent line has been extended and it intersects. Now, if I use the traditional technique to find the point of intersection, if I go to menu, let's say analyze graph, uh, intersection point. It will ask the question, which graph are we talking about? So, you know, graph one, that's fine. The second graph, when I hover over a green graph, the line, the tangent line that we've drawn, it doesn't recognize it as a graph or a function. I mean, it is a function, but I don't know this, uh, why it is uh, coded this way, but actually this technique will not work. The traditional technique to find the point of intersection, okay? Even if you go via the geometry tool, if I go via geometry, points and lines, intersection points and trying to find this particular point, okay, uh, the point where the tangent line, when it will meet the curve again, uh, I click the first graph, I click the second graph, it's not recognizing this because it's a geometrical object. Now, I, I don't know why it doesn't do, but I have a way out, all right, so watch this, okay. When you do the tangent after that point on and, you know, via geometry menu, you got that 
tangent line, you'd get this equation of the tangent automatically. So you can just enter that equation as it is, all right? So at 1.84 uh, x minus 4.09. So whatever the tangent was, you've entered it as a function. But what's going to happen is when you hit enter, you've got a new function on the line. Now that's a function. That's that's the even this is a function, by the way. But the calculator is not recognizing this as a function. So now with this red graph, which is the same as the tangent line, we can find the point of intersection just by going analyze graph of any of the techniques that you knew before. Okay, so I can just go and low bound, upper bound, and it gives me the point of intersection, okay? So this is a workaround technique of how to find the coordinates of the point of intersection where the tangent will meet the curve again. If you know of a better or easier technique to draw a tangent on the TN Spire 6 to than the one that I showed you, please do mention in the comments below. But if you learned something new from this video, do consider subscribing. I'm gonna see you in the next video.